Okay. Now we're going to cut the brick. That's beautiful. It's small. It gives you a nice clean cut. As you can see, the, the threads on it, if you will. It's, uh, it's nice. It's great for block and brick, uh, granite, things like that. Let's try that. Okay, here's a piece of stone, about an inch and a half thick. Of course, you wouldn't finish, you wouldn't have a straight edge like that. You would then, uh, you would then, you would then break the stone, break the stone, and then dress it. So it wouldn't be a straight edge. So you would knock off a little bit of, a little bit of the uh, edge there. You got me. You looking? Yes. Okay. But now you'll you'll match up. But you and I know that's just, you got it close, I can't see what you can see. So you and I know that's like a beautiful straight edge, but the outside was dressed a little bit. Now you, you take off that sharp edge, dress it down. And now you have another, another stone, maybe the one you just took, took out. And you dress it up, and then you make this a joint. You know, no matter what the customer would tell you, that these are matching. The profile is the same because it came out of there. So you can now keep running different stones, making your pattern work. Um, uh, so you saw that with stone. Now let's try it. Well, we're in stone. Stone's pretty hard. And then the this brick. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's you see the M18 um, and asphalt. Oh, but let's use the big boy on this one too. So now this is going to be my. Don't you love the sandals? Uh, OSHA approved. Come closer. No more than I cut myself. I'm not going to cut my foot. It's not going to happen. I haven't done it in a million years. It's just like using any other power tool. We work in proximity of dangerous tools. But the eyes are number one to protect. The eyes and the hands, they can get pretty beat up when we cover. This again is the, uh, the ductile blade from the place I told you about in Florida. Um, hold on. Patriot Diamond. That's this ductile blade that I'm so in love with. Let's see what it does. Same area, so it's going to be the same thickness. Now, this doesn't have as much bite. As it's going to It's about the same, same that I did with the other one. It's a beautiful cut. Let's look at this cut. This cut is beautiful also. That's that ductile blade, the one I told you about. Now I'll show you this uh, same saw. We're going to show it. You see the debris that gets tied along in there? Let's take a look at this saw right here. Bring it over. Still clean. It's still clean, the carbides. And this one has the material um, on the face of the carbide, which is going to give you know some drag, some drag in there. Let's go. Let's go over there and pause it. Uh, the pause button right there. So now I have about an inch and a half of compa compacted asphalt. Um, this one might be a little kicky, so I'm not going to be I'm not going to use my feet on this one. I might have to let it kick out. Let's see what it does with uh, this nine the, uh, M18. <laughs> Beautiful, chewed right through it. So for the viewer that asked me to show them the uh, M18, I said go ahead and buy it. Here's showing you why. I mean, you got the 18 battery, nine inch. It's much cheaper. The cost of ownership is going to you're going to get in here and get out real cheap. You got about a nine inch blades. Just look into uh, uh, the place in Florida to see if they got a nine inch. I don't know if they sell a ductile one. They do. 
uh, buy it. I'm still using this one up, so um, I might switch over to the ductile. That's it. I mean, it's instant on. You see it. I still got the label still on it. I don't. It's the instructions, you know, safety label. So no reason to take it off. Uh, there's a water water connection hose. I found the other one um, didn't. This moves a little bit like that. I found the other one. <laughs> too much water pressure actually locks it out, where water won't even flow. So you got to get the flow right, or that that gets locked. Um, that's the end of the video. Take care.